Welcome back to our bedroom remodel. As you can see, everything is looking awesome. It's practically finished. There's one thing that is missing from our bedroom and it's been brought up a few times. Where are the closets? We built this huge 10 by 24 basically bedroom and this is one half. Let me show you the other half. Well, if we come all the way down here, here's the rest of it. The bedroom is directly divided in half by the, these doors. So it's 10 feet this way, 10 feet that way. Now, when I was planning this space, I had a few different designs in mind and I almost did a built-in closet. But Ashley, my wife, told me that she wanted an open space, just open room. She didn't want it to be broken up with closets. I actually, I'll share my idea. This is gonna be hard to explain without you being here in the space, but one of my original ideas was right past this wall is to, to build the closets right here. I don't know if you can see this, so basically the bedroom would be where you guys are. And here's the front of the closets right here. And then uh, the back of the closet is right here. And there'd be a separate office in here, a small office room for the computers. And there would basically be a small hallway kind of right here to come into it. It'd be three feet wide or more. Basically, that's what the room was going to be. A bedroom, bathroom, office. Ashley said, no, big open space. She wants to just feel and see out all the windows at once. So I said, okay, how are we going to do this? Because I don't like closets that jut out in the room. For example, if we put one on this wall, I was going to build one here we'd have this big box in the room and it would kind of kill the flow of the space. And it would also interrupt our cathedral ceiling because I would either have to go up to the ceiling or, you know, I don't know. I just didn't like it. Now, all of that is kind of irrelevant. It's just to say that what I decided to do is just use wardrobes. Instead of doing a built-in closet, which is typical in the USA, we're gonna go old style and we're gonna be building a really nice wardrobe to put right here where the closet was supposed to be. Now, even though it's taking up the same space as a built-in closet, it's more flexible. We can change the wardrobe to fit our needs. We can move it around the room. In fact, if you wanted to turn this bedroom into a living room, you could do that because the closet isn't built in. I like the flexibility. We could also change the style and it doesn't feel as bulky. When you have a wardrobe, it feels like furniture instead of walls. Does that make sense? So that's our project today. We're gonna to pull in our wardrobe, which I found on overstock.com. One of my favorite websites for shopping for furniture and stuff because I can see where it's made and it has lots of good info about the products. So let's bring it in, get it unpacked and assembled and get our closet situation under control. All right, we dragged all the boxes in. As you can see, this is gonna be a big project. Uh, four of the boxes are the wardrobe and something else is accessories. And speaking of where things are made, this is all made in Brazil. And they're made of solid wood. It's supposed to be pine, so Brazilian pine. Let's get them together. I'm really excited because I was unsure about the color online. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I hope it's gonna go good with our trim work and everything. I wanted to feel like it belongs in here. So, hope the color is right. Well guys, this is our first peek of the wardrobe. And check out this color. This is perfect, better than I expected. It's got the same dark, rich red tone as our, as our trim work, kind of. I would say it looks exactly like it. This is going to be perfect, Ash. Yeah. I mean, it looks like we stained this with the Cabernet. Well, I don't think I'd do that good of a job. <laughs>
I was just installing these feet, which are pretty. Well, I was thinking about how this wardrobe is going to interact with our wall and our baseboard trim. Our trim is pretty tall at five inches and these don't give me enough lift. The bolts they come with are pretty substantial and they go in pretty far and I've decided to make some shims that I'm going to be putting right on top like this to extending these feet down another three quarters of an inch and I think that's going to give me the lift I need to just uh, make it work a little better with our trim. So that's just a little custom hack I'm doing. I cut these out on my drill press using a, a regular hole saw and I just hole sawed a bunch of circles out of wood and actually these are a perfect fit for these round feet. Perfect. You won't see them though. They're going to be underneath behind a lip so I don't have to finish them and we're just going to install them just like that. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll be stable enough because I got some length in here and we're not going to be sliding this around. Once it's in, we're screwing it to the wall and it's staying. Right? Yeah. Wow guys, this is really coming together. Here's the update so far. Now we get to do the finishing touches, but it's clearing the trim, it's flat against the wall. It could probably use some felt pads or something behind there, but we're not too worried about it. It's going together faster than expected and it's beautifully made. It's all pine, it's all wood, and it's been pretty easy so far. And I'm liking the size of it. It doesn't look like much, but wait till we're done and we'll give you a close up view. We got the wardrobe all together and installed and it looks awesome. I'm going to show you guys a series of pictures so that you can see it in action. It's awesome. It looks good. It's all wood. I'm so happy with it. It literally looks like it belongs in that room. So it couldn't be better. So the whole unit is about six feet wide. It's split into three sections. So there's two side cabinets and then a three foot wide middle cabinet. What we did was I took the two side ones and Ashley took the center. So she has the double doors. This is the perfect solution for us. We're not walk-in closet kind of people. We don't need a lot of storage space. We have simple clothes and not a lot of them. So this will work perfectly. Something we didn't show putting together was the additional drawer unit. 
You'll see in Ashley's center closet, there's two big drawers at the bottom. They're nice and roomy, and that was a, an optional accessory that I bought with the unit. I also got some optional shelves for my sides, so I'm just going to use the shelves. She's going to use drawers. You don't see wardrobes used very often in the USA. I know some of our overseas viewers, it's going to be very common for you, but for here, it's really odd. People use them, but rarely. There's even a really common myth here that if a bedroom doesn't have a closet, you can't list it as a bedroom when you sell, or it's not considered a bedroom. That's not true, but it's a common misconception. And as you can tell by the pictures, Ashley excitedly put all of our clothes into it already. She really was looking forward to that. And that helps us clear out the other part of the house. The more we take out of there and put into our bedroom, the better, because that's where we're going next to start the renovation all over again. Now we're not quite moved in. We still have to put together a bed. We still have to move our computer desk in. We have to get the power, the plumbing fi finished to the bathroom and the bedroom. And uh, we still have to do shower door, all this stuff. So there's a lot more to do, but uh, we're doing our best to get it done quickly. We're just gonna keep this one short and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be back with another one soon. So until next time, take care.